Welcome my future DJ producers. Today we are going to unravel the mysteries of gain staging. This is a topic that sparks many a debate in the realm of digital mixing, and yet, it remains an incredibly useful technique for crafting superior mixes. So, what exactly is gain staging? In its simplest form, gain staging is the process of managing the levels of your audio signals to ensure optimal performance throughout your audio chain. It's like setting up the chessboard before the game begins. You adjust the gain of all your recordings so that they sit around the same level. This promotes a balanced mix, making the mixing process quicker, easier, and more efficient. It's like setting the stage for your plugins to give their best performance, placing your tracks in the so-called sweet spot. But here's where the controversy comes in. There are some common misconceptions about gain staging that we need to address. Is gain staging just volume balancing? The answer is a resounding no. Gain and volume, though often used interchangeably, are not the same thing. Both gain and volume refer to amplitude or the level of a track, but they serve different purposes. Volume refers to how loud a track is after it's been processed, while gain refers to the loudness of a track before it's been processed. In simpler terms, gain is your input level, and volume is your output level. Changing your volume faders doesn't change the gain of your regions, and your channel's plugins aren't affected. This is why gain staging is so important. For example, if you're working on vocals and you've added a compressor, adjusting the volume won't impact the level of gain reduction. The vocals will still be processed the same way, regardless of your volume adjustments. That's just a small taste of the world of gain staging. Intrigued to know more? So, intrigued to know more about gain staging? Stay tuned as we dive deeper into its concepts. So, what exactly is gain staging and why does it matter in your mixing process? Let's start with the basics. Gain staging is a term that can have multiple definitions, but for today's purpose, we're focusing on the pre-mix process. In its simplest form, gain staging is the process of adjusting the gain of your recordings so that they all sit at approximately the same level. Now, you might wonder, why does it matter? Well, think of it this way. When all your tracks are at a similar level, it makes the mixing process faster. You're not constantly adjusting levels, trying to balance one track against another. It's like setting the stage before the performance, ensuring all the actors are in their right places and the lighting is just right. But that's not all. Gain staging also makes the mixing process easier. You're not straining your ears, trying to discern the subtleties in a track that's too quiet or being overwhelmed by a track that's too loud. Everything is in its right place, and you can focus on the creative aspects of your mix. And here's the cherry on top. Gain staging helps your plugins sound their best. When your tracks are at the right level, the sweet spot, as we call it, your plugins can do their job effectively. They're not struggling with tracks that are too hot, nor are they trying to amplify tracks that are too quiet. They're working at their optimal level, giving you the best possible sound. So in essence, gain staging is a fundamental step in the pre-mixing process. It's about setting the right levels for your tracks, making your mixing process faster and easier, and ensuring your plugins are functioning at their best. Now that we know what gain staging is and its importance, let's debunk some misconceptions. A common question that arises is, is gain staging just volume balancing? To cut through the confusion, let's set the record straight. Gain staging is not equal to volume balancing. This is a common misunderstanding, not only among beginners but even among intermediate and advanced producers and mixers. So, what's the difference between gain and volume? Both terms describe amplitude, or the level of a track, but they do it in different contexts. Gain refers to the input level of a track. It represents how loud a track is before it's been processed. On the other hand, volume refers to the output level. It's the loudness of a track after it's been processed. Now it's crucial to understand that changing your volume faders does not impact the gain of your regions. This means that the level of loudness before your track is processed remains the same, irrespective of how much you tweak the volume. This is a fundamental aspect of gain staging that often gets overlooked. For instance, Imagine you're working on a vocal track. You've applied a compressor to give it that polished, professional sound. Now if you solo this track and start to turn down your volume fader, you'll notice something interesting. The amount of gain reduction remains the same, despite the decrease in volume. This is because the input level, or the gain, is not affected by changes in volume. It's important to remember that your channel's plugins are not affected by changes in volume. They respond to the input level, the gain. 
This is why gain staging is such a critical part of the mixing process. It ensures your plugins function optimally, providing the best possible sound quality. So gain staging is not just about volume balancing. It's a whole different concept with a significant impact on your mixing process. By understanding the difference between gain and volume and how they affect your mix, you can create better, more balanced and professional sounding productions. Let's take an example to understand the impact of gain staging on vocals. Imagine you're working on a track with a stunning vocal performance. You decide to apply a compressor to enhance the vocals. As you listen to the solo vocals, you start to adjust the volume fader. However, you notice something intriguing. The gain reduction on the compressor doesn't change, despite the fluctuation in volume. This is because the volume fader and the gain are two different entities. The volume fader adjusts the loudness of the track after it's been processed, while the gain adjusts the loudness before the processing. So when you're altering the volume fader, you're not changing the gain of your regions, and your channel's plugins remain unaffected. In the world of digital audio, this is a crucial distinction. When we adjust the gain staging properly, we're ensuring that the input level to our plugins is optimal. This means that the plugins can perform their best, giving us a better sound overall. Now let's go back to our vocals. If the gain staging is off, your vocals might be hitting the compressor too hard or too soft, which can lead to a variety of issues. It could cause distortion or, conversely, the compressor might not be working hard enough to control the dynamics of the vocals. By using gain staging, we can ensure that the vocals are hitting the compressor at just the right level. This allows the compressor to do its job effectively, resulting in a balanced and dynamic vocal that sits perfectly in the mix. This is precisely why gain staging is such a critical step in the mixing process. So we can see how gain staging significantly affects our vocals, maintaining their quality in the mix. It's not just about getting the right volume, but more about making sure that each element of your mix is working together harmoniously to create a beautifully balanced sound. And that, dear friends, is the magic of gain staging. So, we've explored the world of gain staging today. It's been a journey through the technicalities and intricacies of this essential mixing technique. We started off by defining gain staging. It's not just a fancy term, but a pre-mix process of adjusting the gain of all your recordings so they sit around the same level. This is crucial to ensure that your mixing is faster, easier, and that your plugins sound their best. It's about putting your tracks in that fabled sweet spot, where everything just sounds right. We also delved into the importance of gain staging. It's not a step to be overlooked or rushed through. It's the foundation of your mix, the groundwork that sets the stage for everything else. Without proper gain staging, you risk a mix that's unbalanced, distorted, or just plain off. Gain staging is your safeguard against these issues, ensuring that your mix is solid from the start. Then, we tackled the big question. Is gain staging just volume balancing? And the answer, as we discovered, is a resounding no. While both gain and volume describe amplitude or level, they are not the same thing. Gain is your input level, the loudness of a track before it's been processed. Volume, on the other hand, is your output level, how loud a track is after it's been processed. Understanding this difference is key to successful gain staging. And finally, we discuss the impact of gain staging on vocals. It's a game changer, really. Proper gain staging ensures that your vocals are clear, balanced, and that they stand out in the mix. It's the difference between vocals that are lost in the mix and vocals that shine. So there you have it. We've demystified gain staging and laid out why it's so essential in your mixing process. I encourage you to apply what you've learned to experiment with gain staging in your mixes. You'll be amazed at the results. Remember, gain staging is not just a technique, but a secret weapon in your mixing process. Until next time, keep mixing. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so that you can get even more mixing topics, tips, and tricks. If you want to learn even more over a video course that takes mixing step-by-step -step with your very own educator, DJ Katja, just follow the link in the text here below. And I will see you soon. Take care.